This video is so incredibly overdue. I've been wanting to make it for such a long time and somehow I never got around to it. But my friend Laura, she bought me these three candy bars from the US and I was like, yes, this is a sign I need to make this video. So I bought a lot more American candy and we're going to try Earth Day. So of course I'm going to start off with a candy bar. She bought me three of these and she said they are all kind of her favorites with Almond Joy I think being the most favorite but I don't know she was kind of mysterious about it and I've also never heard about this combo so I'll save this one for last but I will start out with Payday! Oh I did not expect this at all because I read like peanut butter and chocolate and what what wait peanut butter peanut and caramel bar but I expected something like Snickers and it's literally caramel filled with peanuts exactly like the packaging says and I have to say like it looks more promising than I thought it would be mm. I really like the combo because the peanuts add salt to the caramel which gets you salted caramel which is an awesome combo also peanuts and sweet things awesome combo I am missing the chocolate however in this one but it is good um, seven I think it's a good good candy bar I like it the second candy bar I'm going to try is Butterfinger and it's crispy crunchy peanut buttery ooh again peanut buttery I like your thinking Laura I like peanut butter too so I see chocolate I see a cookie <gasps> Where are you going? Why are you trying to escape me? Oh, this looks very strange from the inside. Look at this. Let's try it. Mmm. 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 Oh, this one's really good. This is way better than Snickers. Mmm. It's kind of like peanut butter powder with the cookie, or it's maybe in the cookie, and with the chocolate. Oh. There's red lipstick everywhere, of course. And I think there's some caramel involved too. I love this one. I would give this one um, an eight and a half. It's a really good candy bar. These are the sweets I bought myself, or candies. Uh, things I've been dying to try for a really long time, especially Twinkies. I could only find the banana flavor, but uh, it's on my bucket list to try the original one because I always saw people eating Twinkies in American movies. So, you know, when you're addicted to those movies, you have to try Twinkies once. So I just bought these because they didn't have the regular ones. But I think for the texture, it might be good to try it already. Okay. Wow, they're so big. I never, like, look how big this is, man. This is my head. It's huge. I didn't expect them to be this big. Okay, okay, okay. I'm down with American portion sizes. That's okay. Portion control, who cares? Okay, let me try this. Mmm. The cake is really light and fluffy, the cream too. And I actually really like the banana flavor. Mmm. It does have a really weird smell. Mm mm. You shouldn't smell it. Don't do that. Just eat it. Um, I would. I think I will give it an 8 because I honestly, I hyped it up in my head so much that I actually expected it to be less than my expectations and it's better than that and I actually also really like the banana flavor so yeah, an 8 is fitting I think for Twinkies. Go Twinkies! Now I really have to try the original ones. The next thing is actually not something that I wanted to try for a long time but I've never heard of this combo, actually I never tried it. It's milk chocolate covered gummy bears. So, they're actually chocolate covered gummy bears. They're like those Haribo bears covered in chocolate. Okay, let me try it. This is weird. I don't think these flavors go together really well. No. The chocolate also has no chocolate flavor at all. It's just there as a coating. They're good gummy bears, but honestly, when you promise me chocolate covered gummy bears, I expect to taste some chocolate, so I will give these a 4. I also included a savory snack because I know some of you guys like savory snacks more than sweets, so Pringles cheeseburger it is. I've never seen these in the uh, Dutch supermarkets, but especially because I'm vegetarian, I'm very curious to see if these taste like a real cheeseburger because I like cheeseburgers, even though I'm vegetarian, you know, I can still like it. 
Ooh, that's good. Mm. This is actually really good. Oh my gosh. Even in my last phase of becoming vegetarian, when you used to eat meat once like every three months or every six months, I would buy McDonald's hamburger because they are so freaking good and delicious, you know? And this tastes exactly like that. Mm. Also, I checked the ingredients. There's really no meat in it. But this tastes really like a cheeseburger. Wow. I would give this a 10. This is so good. Go Merca! Now before I get to the Almond Joy, this is something I've also wanted to try for a really long time. Hot tamales. Uh, tropical heat, chewy, spicy, tropical flavored candies. Oh, they're so big! I did not expect that. I expected them to be like the size of jelly beans. So this is limon fever. Limon fever, so probably lemon. They're actually spicy. This is like a spicy mojito. A mojito just got upgraded. They should make spicy mojitos. Mango tango. Hot tamales, winning a life, man. I love this. Oh my gosh. What is this? No, I need to have a pineapple. Give me a pineapple. Or did I just have a pineapple? I think I just had a pineapple. No, no. The one. I had before was the pineapple. The mango is even better. Holy snap, this is so good. Okay, 10. This is really, really, really good. I love the spiciness of the candy. Mm. And down to the final one. I think it's Laura's favorite. I'm not sure. Almond Joy. So it's milk chocolate, coconut, and almond. Over here, we only have Bounty, which is obviously milk chocolate and coconut. And I don't like that one because it's way too much coconut. This is interesting. So there are two... In the packaging it's a bit melted because it's quite hot outside and there are like two almonds on top chocolate coated let me see mm. i like the proportions in this one better than a bounty because a bounty is like 80 percent coconut and 20 percent chocolate and this is like 40 chocolate 50 coconut and maybe 10 percent almonds mm. i still think it's a bit too much coconut it's good it's a good candy bar but I prefer the other one better, the Butterfinger. That one was mind-blowing. I will give this one a 7. Thank you so much, Laura, for bringing me the candy bars and inspiring me to do this video. I hope you liked it. If you did, put a thumbs up. And if we haven't met yet before, my name is Ivana and I make travel vlogs and also candy tasting videos. So if you would like to see more of those, click that subscribe button and then I will see you next time. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!